Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with a new video. Today we are discussing about a very important app, TP-Link Tapo. Basically, in this video, we are going to discuss with you that what is TP-Link Tapo app, what are its features and function, and after that, we'll tell you that how you download on your mobile phone and I will tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its function. So TP-Link Topo app is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your mobile phone. This app is for monitoring the CCTV cameras on your screen. It is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet. So by using this app, you are able to access live view of the camera, not only the live view of the camera, but you can see the multiple channel at a time means multiple camera at a time. You can take the snapshot of the video. You control the PTZ camera. You save the live view of the camera. You can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. And you can manage the recording and many more. You can see the recording. Okay. So first thing you should do that you should connect your camera Wi-Fi when you power on the camera like this okay and so just open your Wi-Fi here you find that it is searching for Wi-Fi just go to this setting option and go to the Wi-Fi option here you find a lot of thing like TP-Link Tapo cam just connect with this network now once you connect with the topo cam, just go to the back. Now let us start our particular part that first thing I will let you know that how you download this app for that you should open on app store and search for TP link topo and click on this cloud like option. If you install it first time, then you should option like get. Okay. So when you click on the get, you want to give access, just accept it, just give access and it will start downloading. And if it's installing second time, then you should get option like this cloud. Okay, just click on this cloud option, your app start downloading. Okay, now click the option open. Okay, now it asks you to so that give allow notification on the local network, just click on allow. Again, click on allow. Okay, now you need to connect, go to the setting option. And again, just connect with a TP link topo cam just click on that okay now back it and again open the op option and just go to the setting option and just give local net net network access again go to the app option and just click on I have already given local network permission just click on that and here it asks for a if you are installing it first time, then you should create a TP-Link ID. Otherwise, you just click on login. So in my case, I have a already a login ID. Just click on. Just enter email ID and the password. and click login now this is the interface of the app and the first thing you should do here you on the top right corner you find the plus option just click on this icon and here you find the add device just click on the add device and again I have already given it permission just click on this if you don't just go to the setting and give permission 
and here my camera is indoor just click on the indoor cameras and try to find your model number my camera model number is keep tapo c200 just click on that yes it's blinking i will show you that how it, uh, how it's blinking and here i see that it start blinking okay like in the camera let's go to the app again now it start blinking just click on already red red and green just click allow once and here you should that is start searching and now it found the device now searching for the wi-fi network you see that it is written on the screen now if you click on the keep try wi-fi and just click on your wi-fi network or you you can do the same thing by using mobile data just click on the and here just click on that and click next just click next now once it is connected you got you got the message from a voice from the cam so just be I it says that it's connecting to Wi-Fi Now is it connected? Now it says that Wi-Fi connected. Now here you find the option pairing or tapo device. You can change like indoor cam or whatever you want. So just I just see 200. Let's click next. You can click on test or custom location like test or uh, test cam, whatever you want, or living room, bedroom, whatever you want, like bedroom or living room. Just click next, just select any icon and click next. Now, your camera. Just click sound good. Just skip it. It got it. So here you see that camera comes live. Okay. okay. You see that camera is yeah, comes, camera live. comes live. Now now just click on this pentagon option, option like this and click on the device info and here you see the all the things here you find that ip address okay and if you want to give username and password credential just click on the advanced setting and click on the camera account here you should create a camera account okay if you want to connect with the nvr you should do the same you, you you should create a credential okay and this is my special video for creating it and i already make a video that how you connect this camera on your laptop screen i will give the link of that video in description just create it okay in this way you can do it so i just make for education and training purpose so i will tell you only those options which is important and necessary so here you click on the device and go and note down the IP setting ip address or ip address local ip address and here you should click on the uh, advanced setting and go to the camera account and create an account because if you want this option is only for those who want to access this camera on pc okay now i much aware of the app first option is starting from the left side first option is screenshot like this you can take a screenshot give full our full access and if you want to record the camera just click on this record this is the, your recording start the main thing is about this app is this app is so fluent and very very smooth here you find if you want to hear the voice then you can hear from here okay and if you want to talk with the device just click on this and if you want to talk just click on here hello hello i 
again close the speaker and if you want to pan and tilt just click on this, this option pan and tilt here you want to see that call button if you want to call it just click call when you start call call here so in this way you can communicate with basically it is used for two way audio communication okay so hope you like our video so thanks for watching thank you once again thank you have a nice day